Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday to you. I hope that you've had a great week. I had a, a really good week this week. I got a lot of stuff done. My mission this week was to do some things around the house and I got those done so that always makes you feel good. And somehow I got in some shopping too. So I am going to, <clears throat> the majority of the things I got this week seem to be jewelry and clothes and accessories and stuff. But I am gonna do probably two separate videos because I know a lot of you don't like to see that. So, but I'm gonna start off with my makeup and some things that I got like that. So, the first thing that I wanna show you is a gift, a gift swap type thing from my friend Angelique that lives in Germany. And you guys know her, we have been friends now for, I think she said, she said in her card, I think it was two years. Um, yep, it says almost two years now. And that's just one of the best things about this is the, some of the friends that I've made. And so she sent me a beautiful card. She finds the best cards and postcards. And I save every one because I want to make some type of collage or something for my room. She sent me this um, sample of Cartier. And it's one of the ones that she loves. I believe her husband got this for her, And I have not tried it yet. I've kind of had this box sitting here. And just I'm still been picking out of it. But... Most of One it of the things right that she got me is something I saw, I think, Daisy Nation. She showed it, and Angelique has mentioned this nail polish before, that it was one of her favorites. And I didn't realize we couldn't get it here, but it is the Chanel Rouge Noir. And I've got it on today, and it is just fabulous. I love it. It's that dark, burgundy, almost black. And I think this, Daisy said this is the one that Uma, is it Uma Thurman, wore in that movie that I can't remember now, Pulp Fiction. So I was really excited to get that. This is um, going to be a good, she sent me a lot of good stuff. So then she sent me this, which these are the shadows that I used yesterday. It's hard for me to, I try to sit back and it's hard for me to do because I just like, I don't know, want to get up in the camera for some reason. It's like I'm talking to you. But anyway, this is the Bourjois she ordered this for me. I thought that was so sweet. It's the Little Round Pot Eyeshadow Collection. And this is for a smoky eye. And they give the directions and everything. And yesterday I used these for more of a natural look that you guys saw. And um, But I love these shadows. Yesterday, that, that was the first time I had used them. So now I'll know if I want to get a little bit more drama, what to use and where and how much of it. So these shadows are just so good. So that was extra thoughtful of her. She sent me the P2 Black Deluxe Girls Best Friend Eye Kit, Eyebrow Kit, which is so neat. Has everything, tweezers, the highlight, and everything right in it, and a mirror. So this will be perfect to put in my travel little caboodle type thing. <clears throat> and I know that I don't travel that much, but we do. We'll probably go somewhere here around the holidays, and we go three or four times in the summer. So that's enough. Um, I know a lot of you travel a lot more than I do, but I just, I'm a homebody. We love being home. Even my children love being home. When I pick up Will from school, if I have to go somewhere, he is so disappointed. He wants to come straight home. So, and that's, I think that's such a good thing. I always loved being home and I still love going home to my parents' house. It just, even when I get out of the car and I just smell the way it smells, it's just, so comforting and so it makes me feel good that my children feel that way too and we just live in a beautiful place it's just it's gorgeous here so if i do say so myself she also sent me this which is a small she said purse size spray which is a big one of the emporio armani diamonds eau de parfum and this is something i would probably put in my car because a lot of times i like to put something like this that's a good you know good size and um, especially now when it's cooler and then um, if I forget to put something on or say I go to church and I don't want to put anything on but then I want to afterwards I can put this on so I love that and it's stuff like this is special like when her and Rhonda and Olivia sent me the bliss I love it when people send me some of their favorites and Mary sent me the bare minerals Santa Barbara there's not a time that I put something on that I don't remember that person and I think that's I think that's awesome. She sent me this, which was a request. We kind of did a swap. So this is the Rouge Volupte number two. Now I had almost every one of these years ago. I think I still have a video. And I ended up selling them. 
and it's a little lesson for me and everybody just because you don't like something and I have had to learn this about myself you know and I've learned it just in the past couple of years that just because you don't like something right at the moment you might end up liking it again and either the look or the feel or or both and with makeup I can honestly say if you do get rid of it it might be good and then just get it later if you can because it could go bad or whatever um, of course some of my makeup is old but um so I was so glad to get this again as soon as I got it I put it on and I just remembered how pretty it was and I'm just so much more into nude lips now than I was and it's just a beautiful just nude nudie pink kind of color and as you can tell I've been kind of specializing in nude lipsticks lately and I really do have on my mind I'm going to do a series of nude lipsticks I'm going to do because we all have kind of a different idea of what is nude and even I do you know I'll say nude pink nude brown and so I'm going to do that I'm going to do the peachy nudes I'm going to do the more brown type nudes and then I'm going to do the more myth you know the whitish almost type nudes and um, show you which ones are my favorite and which ones I think are most wearable so and then she, this was a surprise she got me the Dior Addict Ultra Gloss Glow 216 Plumping Brilliance uh, Flash Pumping Spotlight Gloss let's see just 216 Lace Beige it is so gorgeous it is this is breathtaking I know a lot of you are going to just have to go get this because it is just gorgeous. I put it on last night by itself. We had already eaten and everything, so I hadn't had anything on my lips in a long time. And I just walked by the table and grabbed it and walked over and put it on. It is just so pretty. Here, I'll swatch it for you. It's that pretty. And it comes with a brush. It would go pretty over anything. I hope that you can get the true color of it but you can see how it's like a beigey it's not too milky but it's got plenty of enough coverage to give your lips a look and it's um kind of an iridescent i think that's what makes it them look big and juicy <laughs> like we like so i love that angelique that was another it's good surprise precious. i'm not sure where i have put the top to this but um as a little cupcake little container that she sent me some goodies this she ordered for us it's a berry m lip gloss that she said pixie woo had in her favorites this is a catrice color show stay lip gloss and i have not tried this one yet um ooh la la lavender Ooh, that is going to be awesome love colors like that um this i don't think i even saw this when i opened it this is a lip liner in Fleur Mar, and she said this was a new brand, number 201. Wow, that looks good. I would have probably put that on today. Just perfect. Oh, I love that. And then this is the blush. This is a neat little container, too. It's, for some reason, it reminds me of my grandmother and her vanity. Um, I think she had a powder that was like that, but just a gorgeous blush. You can just see that would look good be more of a like a natural um, this is an eyeshadow and I have not even opened it let's see it's called Berlin and this is oh okay Berlin Ravel de Loop Berlin gorgeous um, this is a waterproof eyeliner I did not see these pencils in here I don't know how I'd miss these and this is number 102. That is gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. What color is that? It's kind of like a brownish, purplish, blackish type color. That is so pretty. And then this I used a little bit yesterday, and I forgot to list this. This was under my lash line, um, and it's a really pretty eyeshadow pencil. And you can see it's like that grayish beautiful color oh i just love that she really i told her this is one of my best packages that she's ever sent it express nails and this is from that same company uh, R rival de loop berlin oh okay i guess that wasn't the color of the last one uh, 204 Florimar eyeshadow um 
let's see, I don't know what color that is, 914. It's beautiful, but I'll show you, I'll be wearing all this later, and I love this, P2 Black Deluxe. This is called Black Pearl, and you know I love these. This was so special. So, oh, I just, this was just made my day. This is a Pandora bead. She said to have to think of her, and she's got the same one. It's one of her favorite ones, and it's like a dark, looks like a dark green with a polka dot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get one of those bracelets, just the single bracelet, or maybe even one of those macrame and just put this bead by itself because I want it to be special. And um, so I believe that was it. Not that that wasn't a lot. So thank you so much, Angelique. You are so special to me and you know it, I know. So thank hey, you so much. I got much. a couple of things in the mail this week that I had ordered gosh, a couple of weeks ago, but when you order BB creams on eBay and they come from Korea, <laughs> you expect them to take a while. This is one I got, and this has got a funny story behind it. It is the Loeli or Leoli um, BB cream, and I got Beyond the Solution. And I don't believe there was a color, and it came, I got it from Bello Girl, which is, she's been real sweet to work with. And and I always love, every time I get one of these BB creams, it comes in the cutest little box. I love it. So anyway, <clears throat> I got the wrong one. I did not realize that there was Beyond the Solution and Triple so the, the Solution. So when Gina did her video the other day and she swatched it for me, we realized I had the wrong one. And so let me show you what this one looks like. And I hope you can see see the color is it's not that it's dark it's just not as light as most of the BB creams are and I messaged um, Bello girl and asked her what the difference was in the two and she said that the um, beyond the solution does not have the whitening and the, uh, the triple function but you can see this is still gorgeous I mean look at the coverage um, but this is more of a glossy BB cream. You see how that's, it's just real glossy. And I love that. I love that look, but I think what I, what I'm doing is trying to find a replacement or something comparable to the Rachel K since we can't get that here yet. And I'm still going to work on that, believe me. Um, so I was looking for something that kind of had a drier base for people like me that have a combination skin and maybe an oilier T-zone. Plus, I like to have a powdery type finish and I like it to be a little bit lighter so that I can go in with my Laura Mercier powder. And I've had um, a couple of people ask why I use a foundation and then I put Laura Mercier powder over it, the um, mineral powder, which is, I guess, supposed to be a foundation. The reason I do that is because I like the um, base of a foundation. I like the way it fills in the pores. I like just the base, the coverage, but I like the finish and the glow of the Laura Mercier. There's just nothing that compares to that Laura Mercier glow. And I either use natural beige or classic beige, or like today, I mixed both of them. And I literally just put a little bit of one in the lid and then I mix a little bit of the other in the lid and I just put it on together. And um, so that's why I use both of them. So I really, when I'm putting the Laura Mercier on, I don't, I'm not putting on the same amount you would as if you were using it for your full foundation. So, so bottom line with this is, I think it's a wonderful little BB cream. I think it's, you know, a great, it's a pretty finish. It's a great, um, coverage and everything it's just it's not what i wanted so i am going to try the this one that solution. i ordered is this one and it is the holica holica petite bb spf 30 pa plus plus and the one i ordered is i would have never heard of this but if you guys watch blush is the new black and i'll put her link down below she had this in her favorites and hers is not the clearing i can't remember which one hers is but the reason I got clearing is because I tried to do a little bit of research and this is for the oilier skin type. So I was thinking it might be a drier finish and it is and it's, wow, it's full coverage um, and it's light. I used it yesterday and yesterday, that video, I know you guys, a lot of you guys said that I look different and I just did not feel good. It was one of those days, I know that we all have them, um, that you just don't feel like yourself and you just... 
you don't feel like doing anything, but you make yourself do something. And I had promised you guys that eyeliner tutorial and I really tried to do it, but it was terrible. The lighting was terrible and I was terrible. So that's, I just, I think I just had, did not have any mojo. I had lost my sexy yesterday. <laughs> and uh, we all do that. So, and Gina and I tease that we're gonna do videos on how to find your sexy. And I'm gonna do that because I think that happens to all of us. And there are ways that you can, Go about finding it and getting it back. So anyway, this is the Holika Holika, and you can see that it is very like opaque. I think this would cover most anything that you, and that's probably a look, what looked a little bit different on me yesterday is it was really, it's the first time I used it. So I probably put it on a little bit too heavy and didn't realize that it really spreads and it really has some just awesome, you can see it covers my veins and my hands. So that is some awesome coverage. And I sent a sample of this to Gina, so we'll see how she likes it too. But so far, this has been a real good one. I'll just have to play with it and see what the best way is to Okay, I showed you guys this that I got at Ulta this week, and it's the Zoya Stacy. And I had it on in my video yesterday. And you can see that it has a little bit more of the purple tone than the vampy colors do. And that's what I liked about it. And actually what made me get this color is I always love, if you want to get inspired, go on michaelkors.com and look at their holiday catalog. And just the girls are always dressed so pretty. And it's such a casual, chic, dressed up, like if you want some ideas for what to wear for New Year's Eve or Christmas parties or just any day, really. Um, but a lot of them had a color on like this, and I just love the way it looked with their sequins and stuff like that. And so I really like this color. It's um, It would be really pretty did get in too. this week the Brushless Mascara from Bare Essentials, and it was only like, I think, $15, and they had free shipping. So you really can't beat that. It was just, I don't even know, less than $20 with tax. And it's the Magic Wand Brushless Mascara. And on the box, it has the directions, position brushless head facing... Uh, toward your lashes horizontally, apply to lashes in long controlled strokes. Um, it says to use it on lower lashes, but I didn't because I didn't want to chance it running, but it is brushless. It is just a wand and I hope that you can see, let me see, put it on my forehead here. You can see that it's got little teeny grooves in it and they grab your lashes. Now, not as good as the lash Maybelline Lash Stylist, but this is better than anything else I've used. This is better than the Napoleon, and it's better than the comb. Well, the ones that have the spirally, spiky type combs. The comb on the Lash Stylist is my favorite. But I used it today, and you can see how it gets right up at my lashes. And that is where you get the drama. You want that darkness right at the root of your lashes. And it really helps them curve up. So no regrets, I love it. So thank you guys so much for telling me over and over again. And I'm sorry that I wasn't listening, but I kept going to Ulta looking for it and thinking that you were talking about the definition, the one that has that comey brush type thing. And I knew I didn't care for that as much. So then finally I got a clue and went and looked this on this the week website. and it was and out two weeks in a row at Ulta, but I found it at Rite Aid, and I got the last one. It's the Prestige Lip Liner in Angora, and Gina showed us this one for, this is great for, I think, anybody that has St. Germain, uh, Lingerie Pink, Snob, any of those colors, um, Live by Illamasqua, any of those colors that are just either frosty or matte, blue based pink and you want to make them wearable this is a good color you can see it's a plummy a plummy type color but not too purple it doesn't make your lips look purple at all it just gives great definition and it brings a little bit of oh gosh i don't know it, it just really helps those colors be more realistic and easier to wear so I really think that a lot Man, of I wanted to like show this, you too. Like I noticed this last night. I, well, here, let me back up. I bought this lipstick. This lipstick is always sold out when I go to Ulta. And I saw it and I did not need it, but I just, I wanted it. And I'm really glad I got it. I've got it on today. And this is, this is very, very, very close to the Susan Posnick. I mean, even in the 
container. It came in this nice little box and it's called Breakthrough Performance Lipstick SPF 15 and the color is Nude Scene. It comes in a real nice case and it is a nude, a peachy type nude. It's beautiful and it is just so silky and look at that. It's similar to the Hourglass Grace also, but just it is just a beautiful, oh, beautiful nude. Lipstick. It is I mean, just very wearable, and you would not need to work with it a lot like you do some nudes. So I was last night, I was thinking I'm going to wear that lipstick tomorrow, and I was trying to think of what lip liner I want to put with it, and that's that's what I do for fun. <laughs> but I was thinking, I immediately thought of my Revlon Rose, which is what I wore today, just because. I just told you guys about it. So there's the Revlon Rose with it. And then I thought, well, I wonder what that Boots number seven would look like with it. And I realized that Boots number seven, nude, and Rose are almost identical. I don't know if you guys can see that. Matter of fact, I'll put a swatch right beside it and see if you can see the difference. I don't know if you can see the difference. The nude might just have a smidgen more peachy tone to it but not not very much so I just thought that was interesting so if you have one or if you've been wanting to try this boots number seven nude and you can't then the rose Revlon is very very, they, very I got similar. these at the place that I get my hair fixed and it also has she has all kinds of neat stuff and she had these and I was just curious if any of you guys had tried them they're the blacks snag free hair elastics and I got the clear and they have brown and they have black and then they have thin ones and thicker ones and I got the thicker ones and here we'll see I'll undo it here and they're not very expensive they were I think four dollars let's see 350 and they look like this and they just are supposed to be so good for putting your hair back and then not snagging at all and i've really i've started loving i'll have to do it for you soon maybe this weekend but i've started loving bringing my hair around to the side and just doing a side ponytail and um, i just thought the clear would be great for that so i'll let you guys know how this goes and um i'm sure if i can find them online i'll put a link down below but they everybody in there said that they're just the best and they say if you have thinner hair to get the thinner ones, if you have thicker hair to get the lighter ones. I think ones. that is it for my makeup and hair and stuff like that. And it looks like I've already been going 27 minutes. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed this part. And I am going to go do my clothing and accessories and jewelry. And I will do my outfit of the day in that because a couple of things I got that I'm wearing are new. So um, I'll be right back with that. And if I don't see you then, I will see you later on this weekend. Bye-bye.